Hi there and uh, welcome to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, Enhanced E-commerce for uh, Matomo Analytics. So, um, Enhanced E-commerce is not the word which is used by uh, the Matomo's documentation, but I'm using it because um, some years ago, Google Analytics uh, introduced a feature named Enhanced E-commerce, which uh, gave added value to uh, analyzing the behavior of um, e-commerce websites and that's why I'm using actually the, the name Enhanced E-commerce. So when you are running an e-commerce uh, website with Matomo Analytics, you may, uh, uh, you may deploy uh, the classic e-commerce tracking code, which consists in uh, measuring um, what the order uh, is about and what are the items which have been inserted within the cart. Uh, so with Matomoetics you can uh, move forward and get additional information that I'm uh, mentioning in this video as Enhanced E-commerce. And um, I'm just mentioning one part of the Enhanced E-commerce uh, because there are definitely two parts. So the first part is about uh, knowing uh, how people are interacting with their cart, uh, the fact that they are adding and um, deleting uh, uh, items on their cart. Um, um, so I'm not going to talk about this part out, I'm going to talk about the other part which is about tracking product page views and uh, category page views. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this part. Uh, this part will probably be subject to another video and this part is the one that I already covered which is the classic uh, e-commerce order tracking. So I'm going to uh, talk about this given part which consists in uh, telling you in fact um, uh, about what are the page or the category which are uh, somehow converting the, the more or the least. Uh, it consists in adding um, this following feature, so the pack push uh, set e-commerce view, uh, just before uh, the track page views on the page of your products or category in order to uh, get additional uh, data. Um, so here uh, that's for product, but if you are dealing with a category it's uh, the same uh, feature is just that you will uh, put the value false for the product SKU and the product name. So I'm just going to introduce this uh, for today. I'm using for that um, website which is uh, using uh, a WordPress website which is using the WooCommerce uh, plugin. And as I'm not a developer, typically what I'm going to show you today is kind of dirty. So do not reproduce that on your website, but you will get uh, the global uh, concept. So. Uh, the concept of uh, this tracking code is to measure uh, what's happening on uh, pages such as uh, product pages and it consists in getting the SKU, getting the name of the product, getting the category of the product and getting the price. Of course, uh, some of those values are uh, optional, some of them are required. So uh, you have your page, so in my case uh, that's uh, the following page on which uh, you have different uh, values which are needed to be grabbed in order to be sent to the uh, tracking code. In my case, uh, those are the SKU, the price, the name of the product, so as the, the category. Uh, just to let you know, so there are different ways that you can grab those data out. Uh, you can use scrapping in JavaScript. Um, if the data are on the page, but most of the cases uh, the data is not on the page such as the SKU, so you need to use um, a server-side programming language such as PHP, which is the example I'm going to take for today. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to know which are the different uh, functions that you can call and where you can call them in order to grab uh, those data out. So in my case, I did uh, something messy and I um, used uh, the um, meta.php uh, file within uh, WooCommerce and I added in fact the following script that you can see over here. So what I'm doing here is that I'm adding a data layer because I need the data layer to be uh, filled with those data in order to be able uh, to call those uh, variables later on within uh, my tag manager. So here, typically I have my data layer that I inserted on this given uh, meta PHP file. And in fact, uh, I can call uh, the different uh, WooCommerce function, which are the get names, which are the uh, get SKU in order to get the SKU and get price in order to get the price. 
So uh, in order to get those data, I looked through the documentation of uh, WooCommerce. So as I watched uh, another tutorial that I made, uh, which was explaining uh, how I could get uh, those data out. <clears throat> out of the um, uh, pitfalls in which you can fall in, is that if you get a name or if you get um, the, the category, for example, those data um, are in fact uh, letters, so as they are letters, so string, uh, you need to have a single quote in front of them, if not the data layer will not be able to uh, get those. Uh, it's not a problem for the SKU, neither for the price, because those two values are uh, figures. And uh, that's that's how it works. So I have my uh, data layer that I'm filling in with some data, so the first data that I need, and then afterward, uh, within uh, Matomo Tag Manager, <clears throat> what do I have is that I created my different variables, which for each of them are nothing more than the data layer name. So in my case, I created the uh, category, I created the name, I created the price and the SKU. So nothing berserk uh, here, it's just the, the name and, and the and the data layer variable name. So in my case, I put those two name, but here I could have changed whatever I want, but this one has to be exactly the same as the one that you are using uh, within your code, okay? So in order to grab name, I need to have name uh, defined as a data layer variable, same thing for category and so on and so forth. Uh, by the way, here, as you can see, I outcoded the value and I did not use uh, the function of um, WordPress, uh, mainly because um, I don't know much PHP and I was struggling. I was getting the IDs, which does not represent the name in itself. And then after use another function, which didn't give me uh, the ended uh, expected results. So that's why I coded it. But just to let you know that uh, developers who know WooCommerce will clearly use uh, the PHP function of, uh, of WooCommerce in order to get it uh, straight. And then I got my tag. So uh, this tag, of course, in my case, that's not the case, but uh, should be only fired on pages which are dealing with products. If not, uh, will not make sense and will send additional uh, value. And of course, you need to have a blocking tag on the uh, traditional pages. And this is how my code looks like. So I just copy and paste, in fact, the code that I was showing you within uh, the Matomo documentation. So this one, I just copy and paste it. And I just change, in fact, the different value here with uh, the variable uh, that I show you some minutes ago, which were nothing more than the data layer uh, variable. So in order to fill it with the SKU, the name, the category, and the price. And so as a result, every time that the page is being loaded, such as this one, okay, uh, so here I can easily uh, check the variable and see that the different value have been uh, properly sent. So uh, the SKU, uh, the name, and the shirt, and the price. And as a result, in fact, in <coughs> Matomo Tag Manager, uh, the report which is going to be filled in with data is the one that you can find over here in e-commerce products. And here you can see, in fact, uh, for each of those uh, products, well, uh, the price, uh, you get as well the the name of the of the, the category, and you get as well the name of the, the product. In fact, everything that, that you wanted, you got them. Um, I thought at the beginning that it was nothing more than dimensions, and in fact, that's not the case. Uh, in fact, when you look <coughs> through it, it's going to mention that uh, those are custom variables. So that's what you can see over here. It's written custom variable and then uh, PKP, uh, PKS, uh, PKN for the name, and PKC for the uh, category, but in fact those four are not in fact custom variables. That's definitely something that you can uh, check it out over here in, in custom variables. So even here we, within the visit logs, even if they are calling them uh, custom variables, those are not uh, custom variables. They are definitely uh, values which are uh, used uh, over here on the products, uh, products page. And uh, that's uh, everything that I wanted to know. So adding this given um, line of code, the e-commerce, or was it name? <coughs> the set e-commerce view allow you to uh, get additional data um, over here, telling you, in fact, on this page, uh, the people, I guess, uh, who interacted with the different products and the different uh, cards and how many of them uh, left the, the cart or... Um, let's say somehow left uh, the, the website, but that's going to be uh, the subject to another video that I will make where I will explain uh, this missing uh, feature, which 
uh, will give you in fact all uh, all the clues dealing with uh, dealing with uh, the NNC commerce for Matomatics. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.